guys hello and welcome back to everything ash so thank you to all my new subscribers and please remember to press the notification bell so you can stay updated with all my videos okay so today i'm not going to be making any special dish but rather a condiment that we use a lot in our sauces and our bouillon um a lot of people love it which is tomato paste okay the only difference is we're going to be making tomato paste guilt free with no preservatives um, no MSG, just jam pack with antioxidants, vitamins, like tomato paste that you can use in your kitchen doing everything and guilt free. Kids can enjoy it, everybody, okay? So we know nowadays people are trying to be more conscious about what they eat, what they put in their body, minimizing the canned food because they contain a lot of sodium and everything. So I'm going to show you how to make healthy tomato paste that you and your family can enjoy guilt free okay so let's go to my kitchen i'm gonna show you what it's done so for this recipe we're gonna need a pot to cook the tomatoes down we're gonna need plum tomatoes i have around four pounds here i think and I need I have a large beet. You can use more beets if you want. I have my special um, jar that I got from the 99 cent store. Uh, vinegar, brown sugar, and avoc um, avocado oil to add. So first, I fill my sink with water, vinegar, lime. You want to make sure that your veggies are really, really clean. So I'm going to be washing my tomatoes and uh, I'm just going to let it stay in the water like for a couple of minutes, you know, to make sure that, you know, everything is removed before I start using them. So our tomato is clean, so I'm just going to remove them from the water, cut them in half and remove. We're not going to waste nothing, you guys. Okay, we're going to remove the inside. So let me grab a spoon real quick. We're gonna be using the same juice that's on the inside. I'm not gonna remove the skin, I'm gonna be using the skin, but we're gonna be using the same juice that's inside to cook it with. All right, okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna be using my um, Ninja Blender to blend the inside of the, of the tomato. So I'm gonna be using like around half a cup of water to blend everything with. And uh, that's it. You don't need to blend the seed too much. And then we're gonna pour it in the tomato and let it cook. And then we're gonna pour it make sure that you know we waste the less amount of food as possible once we are done getting all the juices out we're just gonna turn on our stove the medium fire and let the tomato cook for at least one to two hours. It's cooking. We're gonna go ahead and add some vinegar in the container. We're gonna be soaking the beets and the vinegar. We're not gonna cook it with the tomato. right now because we don't want to kill all the nutrients that's in the beets so we're just gonna let it soak in the vinegar the vinegar is gonna preserve it and let it stay nice and colorful uh, feel free to use a glove I just don't mind feel free to use a glove because this vegetable will 
clean your hands and everywhere. So feel free to use a glove to cut the beets. So our beets is being soaked in the vinegar. So while the tomato is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead. This step is totally optional. I just like the flavor of brown sugar in it. So I'm just gonna use one tablespoon of brown sugar and add it in there. Just one, you don't need more than that. And again, this step is totally optional. If you are on a sugar restriction diet, it's fine because the beets is sweet anyway. I just like the flavor in there. All right, you guys, so the tomato is completely reduced. And we're gonna go ahead and add the beets with the vinegar and the mixture. So we are done blending our tomatoes and the beets and we're gonna reduce it now for a couple of minutes. This looks so good. So we're gonna be reducing our tomato paste. Tomato paste is almost ready. Can you see that bright, red, delicious, healthy tomato paste? Yes. So uh, I'm just gonna cool it off right now and transfer it to my jar. And I'm gonna be adding some avocado oil on top and it's ready to go. So this will last me like up to a month and a half. Because I don't, I don't really use a lot of tomato paste, but however, when I need, I know I'm gonna be having some guilt-free, healthy tomato paste for my food. I'm gonna be pouring my tomato paste in the in this pan so I can cool it off. This looks so amazing. And this is how you make a healthy, nutritious tomato paste. I'm just gonna cool it off before I transfer it in my jar. And you can use this tomato paste for anything you want in the kitchen. Your sauce, bouillon, any recipe that calls for tomato paste, you can use that tomato paste in it. And you can see, the, check the consistency. And it's not even cool yet. Voila. healthy tomato paste and this is how you make a healthy nutritious tomato paste um, so our tomato paste is about to cool off now so this tomato paste is totally guilt free it's just amazing it's nutritious you can use it in your sauces your bouillon um, look that color you guys this is so amazing and it smells delicious okay so you can use this in almost every recipe that calls for tomato paste and please let me know if you try this recipe you guys and do not forget to subscribe share like this video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up tomato paste is all cooled off so this is it now I'm gonna transfer it in the jar And this is our tomato paste, you guys. So I'm just gonna put some avocado oil on top of it and store it in the fridge. Et voila, a 
amazing, healthy, delicious, nutritious tomato paste.